Good morning, boys and girls. The internet today is Tuesday, November 6, 2018. Vlog number 308, I believe. Uh, I might be way off of that, but who cares? But uh, yeah, this is my second time recording this. Um, I found out well, the last couple of days of me recording uh, something went screwy with the audio. I don't know what happened, but it's all kinds of like pops and hisses, and, and it's, just, it's, a, it's a mess. So I'm going to re-record my passive logs, which is okay because I need to still play some catch-up. Uh, now that that's out of the way, um, today is election day, uh, midterm elections. It's without a doubt the most important midterm elections in my lifetime. Um, there's so much on st at stake. I've already said this in my uh, non-vlog video. You know, asking people to go out to vote. Um, and so I won't uh, harp on the reasons why, because I already mentioned that in my last video. But I will give this. Here is Tuesday. Um, as of this morning, I didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, right now, I know a little bit because it's later at, on in the day. But um, it is still up in the air for a lot of things, so I won't mention uh, too many things that I, I see what's happening, but I'm going to give my predictions. Uh, so this is my prediction video of the midterms. Um, I predict that the Democrats will retake the House. Uh, we will get the majority back in the House, and that will be one measure of comfort. Hopefully, we'll be able to rein in some of the abuse of power that we were seeing here and get some logic and maybe some uh, good policies for the people, not for the rich. As for the Senate, the Senate is a harder race. Um, it's not that many seats, but they're highly contested seats. They're very hard to get. Um, I I hope that we get the house as well, but I really don't think we are. I think we're gonna, it's going to stay kind of like the you know the split like you know fifty one forty nine split. Um, but stranger things have happened. I'm remaining hopeful. Um, yeah, you know, and I also hope that like in some of the individual races like down down ballot like some governorships and whatnot. I uh, hope we, we pick up a lot of seats there in, in terms of Democrats. Um, as for my other prediction, I have a, a, another prediction in relation to this election, and that is the rhetoric surrounding this election. Um, we've already seen a lot of hateful, divisive, um, fear-mongering, and violent rhetoric coming from our White House and also from right-wing propaganda media. Uh, so that being said, <clears throat> I, I somewhat foresee, I predict, and I really hope it doesn't come to pass. I, I, I mean, if there's a, anything to hope on, it's, I hope this does not come to pass that there may be violence at the polls um, we've already had the lunatic um, you know send bombs to prominent Democrat uh, officials and Democratic uh, uh, you know high, high people in, in Democratic circles um, we've had about a dozen people killed at a, uh, a synagogue by a uh, anti-Semitic right-winger. Uh, we have also had a uh, this incel asshole, uh, probably spurred on by the likes of Jordan Peterson, uh, went to just a, a yoga studio and killed two women because the dude can't get laid on his own among other problems. Uh, 
uh, we have this racist asshole who uh, killed two African Americans in a store. He tried to go to uh, uh, some churches, but I guess he changed his mind on by the churches. He went to a store and killed two African Americans, um, and he admitted that he did it because, you know, he hates blacks. Uh, so, th and that's only in the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, so I, I really hope that everything remains peaceful in all the polling stations across the country. Um, you know, I already heard like there's some rumors about some violent ass got uh, dudes. Um, preparing some kind of violent acts if um, uh, Stacey Abrams in Georgia, if she wins. Uh, really? Are you fucking kidding me? You know, here we have this, like, super, you know, corrupt-ass Secretary of State, you know, going for office there. Um, he's running the election, and he's telling, saying that the Democrats are committing election fraud. Meanwhile, he's purging, you know, tens of thousands of, of voters from the rolls. Um, gerrymandering like a, like a son of a bitch and just you know, massive, massive uh, uh, voter suppression that he's doing and he dares call you know, says that the Democrats are, are you know, going to do voter fraud um, God, I hope that guy loses so on to my third prediction again, I hope no violence really happens, but I see something like that happening either today or tomorrow in the coming days. God, I don't want it to happen. You know, so everybody be out there, be safe, be, uh, be aware. Um, so my third prediction. If the Democrats uh, take the House and or the Senate... At least if we take the House, um, if we get any victories, um, that uh, you know puts the balance of power back into play, um, and, and, and gives us a little bit of hope. You're gonna see tweets tomorrow morning. You might even see them tonight um, from our president saying things of the nature like these elections were rigged. That. Um, there was massive voter fraud, and he wants to invoke put up investigations to, to look into voter fraud. Uh, he wants recounts, and he's also probably going to tweet something about um, how you know the Russians meddled in the election, um, which he already stated before. He's all like, "Oh, you know, we have to look into the Russians meddling again." I was like, "Wait a minute! You denied all this time that Russians meddled, um, but just the other day he, he had a tweet that." you know, said that very thing. He's an asshole. He's an idiot. So, he's definitely going to tweet that tomorrow morning. And, of course, it's going to rile up his base. But, hopefully, if we win some seats tonight uh, for the Democrats, you know, then his base really doesn't have a leg to stand on. Yeah, they can keep cheering, you know, for Trump and stuff, but... As long as they don't engage in violence themselves, they really can't do anything about it once the, uh, the election's called. Um, I'm sure they came out in force as well to vote, to try to um, counteract the, the massive amount of voters coming from the left. I already see record numbers in the um, early voting and absentee voting. Um, and it's just a fact of the matter. And Republicans know this. This is why they suppress the vote as much as they can. That the more people vote, uh, the more it, it, things swing to the left. The more Democrats win when more people vote. That's why Republicans, they constantly want to ensure that, you know, as few people as possible are voting. Uh, that's why they redraw maps at... And make sure that um, you know only people who lean right are the only ones that are you know in their districts voting for them. That's freaking ridiculous! Fucking gerrymandering. That's what I predict for tomorrow. 
um, the tweets from Trump, it's no matter what, no matter what happens tonight, they're going to be ridiculous. Just flat out, they're they're going to be some really dumbass tweets because uh, that's all he's capable of. But um, the, the hypocrisy, if the Democrats win tonight, the hypocrisy that will spout out of his Twitter machine tomorrow morning will be off the fucking charts. I'm going to laugh. Uh, but I won't be laughing if there's violence in this country um, of the likes of which that we've already seen. Uh, that's no laughing matter. Uh, this is America, goddammit, and we need to keep civility. Um, last word, you know, because we need civility in this country because and we need to sow our division. Um, there's some famous words. United we stand, divided we fall. Unfortunately for decades, politicians left and right, but mostly on the right, have been dividing this country up. And when they, when, when they divide us, they gain the power. And we fall, we ultimately we'll fall. Um, so, no matter what side you want, right or left, you want democracy to win. You don't want our nation to fall because we're divided. Um, Rome was a great empire, but it fell because of their division. And, you know, the, the higher ups lust for power. So, don't get complacent. Don't think that, you know, oh, we're the greatest country in the world. Well, uh, if we get too divided, we will fall. So that's all I say about that. Um, go blue. That's all I could say. I'll talk to y'all later. Everybody have a good day. I love you.